Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Full Stack Adda. In today's video, we are going to learn about Spectrator in Java. So, what is Split Iterator in Java? We already know about Iterator and uh, List Iterator. So, they are used to read elements from collection objects. Uh, so, we can use Split Iterator for the same purpose. So, it is like Iterator. We use it to read elements from collection objects and arrays and from stream object. It is added to Java in 1.8 version and it is available in java.util package and java.util package is a part of java.base module. When we use iterator or list iterator, we use two methods as next to check whether the element is available or not and if it is available within the loop, we use next method to read elements uh, from the collection object. When it comes to uh, split iterator, we don't need two methods. So we, we can just use single method to read the element. And using the split iterator, we can read the elements sequentially means one after another. And also we can also read the elements parallelly. And this split iterator internally uses iterator interface only for collection objects and it uses array for array of objects. So this is the overview of a split iterator structure. It is an interface. It is available in java.util package and java.util package is a part of java.base module. And this split iterator has three sub interfaces that one of int and split iterator dot of double. This is for primitive double array, and this of int for primitive int array to read elements from uh, primitive int array. And uh, split iterator dot of long it is to read elements from primitive long array. And when we split these uh, three kinds of iterators, the first one uh, split iterator. So these are the different uh, collection objects. First list uh, list list interface implemented classes like array list, link list, stack, vector. Stack and vector are kind of uh, uh, deprecated class. We do not use them. And set implemented classes like enum set, as set, link hash set, tree set and stream objects uh, stream into stream long stream double stream and for all these uh, objects to read elements from them we need to call the split iterator method it will uh, return split iterator object and to read elements from array of objects in arrays class there is a method split iterator and it takes that particular type of array of objects and to read primitive int array, we can also pass primitive int array and for long, we can pass primitive long array and for double, we can pass primitive double array. And when it comes to methods, it has a lot of methods, but uh, these three are the main important methods. Try advance for each remaining and try split. Try advance, it takes the java.util.function.consumer as a argument. It is a functional interface and it reads only one element at a time. So to read all elements, we need to use this method with some loop for loop or while loop. When if the element is available, it returns a true and it passes that element to the consumer uh, that particular function what whatever we pass the particular lambda expression and if there are no elements it returns false and if we pass null as a argument to this function it returns the null pointer exception and for each remaining it also takes the 
consumer function interface as an input uh, we need to pass lambda expression and this one it, it will read all the elements uh, in bulk so it will not read to one by one on it is any kind of loop the, in fact this for each loop is a kind of uh, loop only and if you pass uh, null to this action it throws the null pointer exception and the last one try split this method is used for parallel programming so you want to read array of objects or collection of objects uh, separately so that we can create a, another split iterator object by calling this uh, try split method and we can read the elements uh, what it does is it will divide the split iterator into two different two of objects and we can read parallelly let me show you some examples let me first show you for all collection objects i am going to demo hash it and this fun methods functional working functionality is same for all other collection objects here i have created a hash it and uh, added uh, four uh, uh, strings and now here i am trying to read the elements using the try advance for that one first we need to create this split iterator from hash set for that one we need to call this method split split iterator and it returns that particular uh, interface of string and now as i said try advance by default it reads only one element at a time and it it returns true and it passes that element to this uh, particular uh, consumer lambda expression so we need to use the while loop to read all the elements and since this uh, try advance consumes all the elements uh, from this uh, split iterator and uh, to read using the for each met for each remaining method we need to again take the another split iterator object so for that one i have taken another split iterator and uh, calling this for each remaining so let me show you the uh, demo so far let me run this class yeah so the first one you can see using try advance hari krishna and suri and using for each hari krishna suri now let me comment this and enable using the price split now here i have taken a new split iterator split name with the split 2 and from the split 2 we need to call the try split it will create another split iterator object and when we are reading we need to read from this second one first other if you read it from the first one this second one will not have any elements to read so we also need to add this null check and within this if condition we need to read elements using for each or try advance and in the next line we can read elements from the another split iterator object using for each or try advance let me uh, here let me run this one yeah now we can see we got the output and let me show you for stream objects here i have created stream object using the stream dot of method and to create the here also we can use the same method it will return split iterator object and to print the elements we can either use uh, try advance or, uh, or for each first i'm going to show you with the uh, try advance as i said it returns only one element at a time we need to use it with while loop let me run it yeah and so we cannot use uh, 
for each and for each remaining and try advance on the same same stream object because these are uh, terminal uh, operations once you call them uh, it consumes that entire stream object uh, so either we need to create two different spreader object or else we need to run them separately let me show you using the for each remaining let me run yeah using the for each remaining you can see the output and using array so here i have created using uh, int int array and rs dot class has predetermined method for that one we can pass this uh, primitive int array and using for each method we can read same for long array using for each method we can read or else we can also use try advance same for double array let me run and show you the output this is how we can read elements from arrays collection objects and stream objects using the a split iterator and let me zoom in yeah so when it comes to difference between iterator and split iterator iterator as we know we call it as a universal iterator so it can be used uh, or to iterate collection objects and map and uh, stream object and split iterator we can um, use it to read elements from collection arrays and uh, uh, stream object and iterator we can only read the elements one after another uh, uh, in a sequential way using split iterator we can read the elements uh, sequentially one after another and also we can read using the we can also read parallelly and using iterator we can read elements one by one and using split iterator we can read elements uh, uh, one by one and split iterator uh, can remove iterator can remove the elements but uh, other one cannot remove it and iterator implementation is varies based on the collection object and uh, split iterator as i said earlier for collection object it uses iterator internally and for arrays objects so it use the array only internally so this is all for uh, today's video if you uh, like this video content please like this video and share this video with your friends and uh, subscribe to my channel thank you